Good morning guys, do I have something special today? I am building myself up a new Sunday with uh, some BSD stuff as you can see. And Odyssey. And Odyssey. Well, Odyssey. I've got an Odyssey fork in here, which I'll be taking out. And I'll be using my uh, G-Sport Odyssey wheels that are over here. For now. For now. Until uh, spring, I'll probably get Clutch V2 and same, same. But yeah. Choose wisely. So we got some BSD graphic bars. I'm not quite sure what this stem is called. BSD stem, headset, crank, substance cranks in uh, 165. We have an Odyssey tripod, which is very similar to the Odyssey seat I have right now, which is pivotal. A monogram. A monogram, yeah. As we can tell over here somewhere. But I will be taking some parts off of this, like I was just saying. Well, I gotta get this up into the stand and start getting some work done. You have chosen wisely. I also got a new Odyssey fork. R25. I haven't ridden a short offset fork before, so it should be fun. Let's get back to this thing. Alright guys, so I've got my uh, old BMX there stripped with most of the parts, the cranks up there, the chains over there. Uh, I did want to put my Merit sprocket on here, the 28 tooth, but I'm finding out that it's kind of not going to work too well. If uh, if you look at it, you can kind of see there's a bit of a step. A bit of a step in here. Now, on my Odyssey cranks, that step wasn't an issue because there was a step right there. but on the new BSD cranks that I'm using, which uh, are right here, there is no step at all. So I'm going to be going to a 25 tooth market sprocket for now. And then I'll look at getting myself a new sprocket in the future back to a 28 tooth so I can pedal. So yeah, like I was saying, I am going to 165 and 25 from a 175 and 28. So it's gonna feel a little different, but hey, Got the frame up in the stand now. Just got to, uh, you know, start pressing bearings. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you might be wondering why I chose Sunday Odyssey BSD, um, you know, market. Probably gonna change it out for a 28 tooth at some point, unless I really like the 25. I've been on 25 before, but I went to 28 when I was in Toronto and kinda just never went back. Basically, I trust all these brands. I've been running the BSD graphic bars for a while, enjoyed them going to the same pair of bars. So I thought I'd try out some uh, BSD cranks and try out the stem, all that fun stuff. All right, so I got the crank on there. It's pretty tight, but it, there are brand new bearings. Everything on this bike is gonna be basically new, except for like my wheels. So everything's gonna be very stiff, um, stiff going for a little while. Don't know if I'm gonna add a new chain yet or just use my uh, my uh, Odyssey keychain. It is a bit stretched, so it might wear the sprocket a bit quicker, but it would fit my back wheel a little bit better than uh, a new chain would. So it's time to get the front fork on here. Stack this up a little bit. If I can. The stand is the worst. 
There we go. All right, so on to the R25. I don't know how twitchy it's going to feel. But it should be interesting. Back to time lapse now. <laughs> So I've been having a little bit of a problem um, with my chain and everything. So I stretched my keychain quite a lot on my other bike because I had it for a few years. So it wore my sprocket, which I don't have on here anymore. So trying to put it on this bike, it didn't sit on the sprocket very well. And actually I don't have a breaker for the Aussie chain, so I can't shorten it for the 25 tooth sprocket either. Now I tried to use a BSD half link, but that didn't go good on my worn driver so i'm just going back to a basic basically kmc chain uh i'll get a new chain and stuff like that when i get new sprocket new wheel that kind of stuff further on in the year so let's get this on here and get the drivetrain finally connected i just need to find the master link which is somewhere over here still in the box but yeah we're getting there So uh, another thing I'm pretty stoked on on this frame is the fact it's got a chain tensioner built in. So I don't have to worry about having my chain and wheel slipping all over the place all the time. Now I do ride a little bit of loose chain for crank flips, but everything's super tight, so it's not really gonna flip that well. But that's rolling smooth. You gotta tighten both sides so your wheel just stays straight in your dropout and not kind of Go all cockeyed. Although I just tightened that too much, so now it is all cockeyed. Dope. Yeah, and once it's tight on the axles, I'll probably tighten that just a little bit in so it's snug and not gonna fall out on me. And now I can tighten the main axles here. Then I can get the front wheel on, get the grips on, tighten everything up, and it should be good to go. I can do just like the trance video and stuff, those glamour shots. Which if you haven't seen that video or the Juliana video, I will be linking them at the end of this video, so go take a look at that. Now that is a bit tight, chain will stretch a little bit, but I think I am gonna loosen it just a tad. Yeah, just pull that in like that. Don't want to hit the frame, but I want the kick flips. Still a bit tight, but it'll loosen up. Rear wheel could probably use a repack again, but it's all about getting it together today. Still a little tight, but time to pedal wrench these things completely on. Didn't really talk a lot while building this, but something you need to remember is to put grease on pretty much anything with threads, any metal to metal contact, you should have some grease so that if you want to take them off, you can. Nothing like seized on bolts. All right guys, we are done building the new bike just behind me. I've just got to do, uh, you know, clean it, make it all shiny, put a Doug sticker on it. Then go take some nice little karma grip shots and maybe a little bit of ride or something like that. So I got to deal with this thing soon, probably selling off most of that. I'll be selling off, you know, like these wheels and stuff when I uh, go to get new stuff. 
but for now it's looking pretty pretty so yeah clean up go take the photos Alright guys, here we got it. The Sunday Mark Burnett Excelsior 21. Top load stem, BSD bar, I think it's like a 9. We have the R25s, uh, lots of pegs, BSD sprocket, or sorry, BSD crank, market sprocket, BSD Safari pedals, which is the reason this is not Clutch V1, which I'll be placing for a V2. New Odyssey monogram. Derek on a scene bike. This bike is already so much taller than uh, 